Let's go. Wow, look at this, guys. The Bitcoin price is currently resting on this white line right here. This is very important for the Bitcoin price. And if you are a Bitcoin trader or if you hold cryptocurrency at all, you need to watch this full video. I'm also going to talk you through how I think as a trader. If you follow me on Twitter, you know that I was talking you through all of these moves and telling you what I was expecting. And Things played out perfectly from what I spoke about here on Twitter, so I will also talk about how I am thinking when I am looking at these charts. Finally, we're looking at my trades over on Bybit and over on Femix. Am I doing something with these trades right now? Well, stick around, I'm going to talk you through that as well. Welcome back everybody to Satoshi Stacker. My name is Cristiano, bringing you a cryptocurrency video every day. TGIF. Hope you are having a fantastic Friday thus far. Today we're talking about Bitcoin and let's jump straight into it. So yesterday we were talking about how we were in a bearish trend right now, a short term bearish trend and that we were forming this bear flag right here and that we had a target if we just took the pole of this flag right here and we apply it like this, you know, from the breakdown actually. This is our target and on the four hour, this is going to be a bit longer. It's going to be all the way down here. Now let us move this to the right so it's not in the way. Now you can notice I have this white line right here as well. Is this important? It is very important. If you follow me on Twitter, you already know this, but let me talk you through what I looked at yesterday and how this then changed as we actually went on throughout the day. So first off, just zooming out here and looking at this in general, Long term, I am bullish. Short term, if you've been following my videos, you know that I am short term a bit bearish because, you know, we're making lower lows, we're making lower highs, and we're just in general trending downwards. And we are establishing these price levels in which price respects these levels. But then we seem to just break down, you know, one after the other. And until that changes, I'm not going to become bullish. And until that changes and we break above this and actually establish price above this level, I'm not going to be short term super bullish. At the same time, I know that we are in a bull market and this can turn around any second and we can just break through all of these levels and blast to the upside. That's why I'm not necessarily trading these patterns, but let's get right into it. So the first thing I said when I made my video yesterday is straight after I actually posted it, we were seeing some price action. I said, if we adjust the lower level a tiny bit, it would look like this, a breakdown and a failed retest into the pattern again, confirming the the breakdown. This is on a one hour time frame, so I would not give it too much weight. Still, I am not jumping into any trades. I am happy with my hodl and I am still bearish. So this was if we adjust this actual line right here and I'm guiding you through how I am thinking as a trader. So we saw that, you know, the price was actually respecting a level right here on the way up. And so you could draw this down like this and then you got this new level. It's still a bear flag. It's just slightly different. Then what I said, if we go down here as we were making this candle, which candle is that? That is actually this candle. We are starting to accelerate down. Minor support at the white line, which is this line, and that is this line. Remember, the price action was right here then, but we got minor support at that level. It is the previous swing low, usually an area of interest on lower time frames, and also a weak support area from way back. Watch closely, could also form a double we double bottom and pop upwards. I am still bearish and the double bottom I was talking about is we could actually form this and this is more obvious on the four hour, but we could, you know, do something like that and then we go down and then we go up. And as soon as we break this level, that is when you got a confirmation that this is actually a double bottom and this is extremely, extremely bullish pattern. So we're starting to go up, potentially forming that W pattern. So I said for the double bottom, which is bullish to play out, we need price to get past the red line. So, you know, this one right here, still bearish until the market tells me a direction, meaning you should not trade this before you actually got confirmation that this is the double bottom and you need to break this red line right here. That was actually right here. I expect major volatility within the next 24 to 48 hours. Be careful out there. And I still expect a lot of volatility during the next 24 to 48 hours. And this was the price we were looking at back then. And then we went down. As you can see, we went down on the actual chart and we have 
you know tested this multiple times can we still make a double bottom and which is uh, very very bullish i i mean this is not super clean for a double bottom right now because you know we went up here and then we have this secondary high right here so ideally you would just have you know this but now instead you have, you know, this potentially. So it could still be a double bottom. You need to watch this level right here. And this is actually very crooked. Let me take that away. I am, you know, it's very crude right now, but you can make a line right there. This is the level we need to break. And so I said, there we go. Now watch the vicinity of the white line down here. You will probably see a pre premature relief pump. Then we will take it from there. I will keep you updated. So what happened? We went down, we had a relief pump, you know, a very small one right here pumped up from 17,750 up to, okay, it was decent, 18,000, a bit over 18,000. This was actually touching the white line, but then you had this relief pump as well. This was the premature relief pump, as you can see right here, these red candles. I think it's actually this very candle which, which started to go up. Yeah, you can see, you know, two green candles, then one, two, three on the third red candle, this flipped bullish. So let's see on the chart, one, two, one, two, three. Yes, this very candle flipped bullish and we had that premature relief rally up to this level. Now resistance went down again. So I just wanted to tell you how, you know, a live case of how I am thinking with my trading. Still, I didn't trade this. I know a lot of people have sent me, you know, messages saying, yeah, you made me so much money, la la la. I didn't make you money, you know, I, I'm, I'm not trading this. I'm just telling you what, what I see on the chart with my, you know, six years of experience, whatever. You made the decision yourself, you made the money. I was not trading this. But anyhow, I hope you appreciate me going through these price levels. And right now we will see, is this going to hold? This has to hold or else we are going to go down to my next price target. As you know, my next price level to fill up my bag, 17,230. I've been talking about this for so long. This is it. And I mean, this is also confluenced by a lot of different things. It's confluenced by this big triangle up here. It's also confluenced with this bear flag. So everything is pointing towards that level down here at 17,200, right? Yeah. 17,200. Now I'm not saying that we are going to reach it because this is Bitcoin. I mean, anything can happen, but this is when I'm loading up and I'm making trades based on high probability moves. I can still be wrong, but at least I am guiding you through how I am thinking. I am going to be wrong. I'm no Oracle. I am just trying to be right more times than I am wrong. So if that makes sense. All right. I also got this chart sent to me by Mr. Azabor Esoosa Emanuel. And, uh, you know, he showed me this and yeah, this looks pretty clean. I would like this to actually be a full triangle, but this is, you know, a crude, you know, resistance and support you can take a look at. I actually posted it on, I didn't post it, but I got it right here, I believe. Yes, I do. So this is definitely something that you can take a look at. In that case, we are down here right now on the one hour and this is still acting as support. I also got an email by Juan and I don't know if he wants me to dox his full name, but he sent me a chart and what he sent me was basically on the four hour, it was this, which is also pretty clean. And if this is true, you can you see it right here. We are currently breaking down from this. So this is definitely something you need to watch as well. Let us extend this and see if this is actually, perhaps you could even do something. No, if you do something like that, it's not going to be aligned too well with these candles right here. But yeah, you can do whatever. I mean, you can, you can adjust this and see if you can make sense of that more than you can make sense of any of these other charts. For me, this is still what I am watching right now. I like to keep things very simple right now. And this is what I have been watching. So I will keep you updated. Follow me on Twitter, Stacker Satoshi. So I want to show you a question I got yesterday when I talked about how if you actually add more to your position, then your entry price is going to go lower and you are going to uh, you know, get a lower entry price. And this is going to change as well. You're going to perhaps be at a profit like I would be yesterday, uh, according to the scenario I described. But this is what he say, said, you completely lost me. Um, please, can you do it again somehow and explain? I don't understand how the entry price changes with a second buy. And we can only have one trade open on Bybit in one direction. I hear you adding 17,500 contracts, but I don't understand how to use this to add or increase to the exi existing active trade. And how does your enterprise of 618 changed to 580 completely lost me. 
So you can only have one trade open here. I think that they are going to add sub accounts, so you're going to be able to have multiple positions open, but that is true. You you have this position open on Ethereum to USD, and if you add another 17,500, it's just going to average out the entry price. So I bought this at 618. If I buy something at, let's say I buy something at zero, let's say Ethereum was, was to go to zero or $1. So let's say I buy 17,500 US dollars worth at $1, then automatically I'm going to have 35,000 in total, but my entry price would be the average between 618 and one, which is, you know, splitting this in half. And since my entry price is lower and the unrealized profit and loss is calculated when you compare the current price to the entry price, that is why my profit and loss also changes. I hope that explains it, but uh, yeah, that's just how it works. And I have two trading videos on my channel. Go there and watch my playlist. You got two videos there, so there you go. Apart from that, you know the drill. I'm not adding anything, I'm not removing, I'm not doing anything here. In fact, I'm just going to add more margin if we actually go down lower. Same on Femex, not doing anything in particular. Waiting for price to either go down to this level to fill my bags or for it to reverse and go above this level and then we will take it from there. But yeah, follow me on Twitter. If you want to trade on Bybit and on Femex, you got the links down here. This is about to run now, so $610 for free on Bybit. And then you actually got not $680 for free on Femex, it's more like $720. So if you want to get that, you use this link in your deposit. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you right there.